Hello guys, welcome to our day 8 of 30 days of piano practice and today's exercise is an application of the knowledge of inversions that we have practiced in the past days. So we are going to play the primary triads, already we know about primary triads and so we are going to play a simple progression of 1-4-1-5 applying the knowledge of uh, inversions in all the 12 keys because as we had said earlier the aim of this uh, series of tutorials is to help us develop the ability to play in all keys so guys I, I request that if you so guys I request if you are not subscribed to this channel I remind you please do so and Remember to like our videos and as well, I so much value your comments, guys. I thank you the way you are supporting me. Continue subscribing, continue liking and sharing our videos. So let's get started. In C, this is our chord 1 and the F was our chord 4. But you will realize that C again on this side is a member of the chord 4 so when I'm moving from chord 1 to the 4 I do not need to move or switch positions instead I'll play my one here maintain this C and then have these fingers move up to get my chord 4 here okay remember we are going to do this in all keys so it's good to understand because this is the knowledge we are building, it's the skill that we want to develop. So I play this, so my finger 3 will move together with the 5, each moving one step up from this to here, F and A. So. Generally, chord one is do, mi, so, and fa, la, do is our chord four. So the do is repeated or is a common note. So I will maintain it here and move to fa, la, and I have my chord four in the second inversion. Okay, when I'm moving from one to the five, remember chord five is the so, ti, re. And so they share this G or the so with the do chord chord one so i can take the five in second or first inversion and such uh okay this is the root position of the g chord the chord five so then if i take this so over i'll have this inversion of the g chord which will be so efficient to move from C to it, then just moving up to seek for it in root position. Okay, so I will play my one to my four, one to the five. You see that? And back. the fingerings we have already used them and so we move that knowledge now up chromatically to C sharp that's our one we move to the this one as our four one to the five so notice finger one is going to move just a half step down to get do ti, ti, re, so. that's our chord five in first inversion and back to the four to the five and back i move to the d one okay now no, this is a one do then a, the far chord the g in uh, it's now second inversion back to d and 
then a is our five so it's a, it's first inversion and then i move up to e flat and then the five is this one so it is maintained this b flat in its first inversion and back I repeat this A flat second inversion back to E flat then B flat and back E okay notice the fingering here has changed so from the one The B is our five, so the B major root position first inversion and back. You see, so it is one to the four, one to the five, and back. Move to F. B flat is our four in uh, second inversion. C is our five, and we are back. Okay, then I go to F sharp. Now you can take the four this way again. Back. T, T, I gonna T, Re, So, this one. Okay, then to the G. C in, in version 2, G, then this D is our 5 in its first inversion. Back. Up to A flat. D flat is our 4, second inversion. And then back to. Okay, then I move to A. A major, its four is D. Second inversion. Back to it again. And then our E on finger five is our root of the five. In second inversion, back. Uh, sorry. The five is always played in the first inversion not second this is first inversion of the e major chord and back okay to the b flat uh, so the b flat e flat so i hope you are seeing that fingering and uh, the notes clearly and back to b then f in first inversion back to B flat then that's B major it's 4 is the E major in second inversion and then I'm back to it and then F sharp first inversion back and then C again. So all the 12 keys have been covered. So if you practice that over and over, then you'll be able to play 1415 in all the 12 keys. You can choose to accompany it using the roots in the left hand. So if I play a C chord, I play my C here. Then I play F, the root of the 4, and back 1, then to the 5. So, one, four, one, five. So, to that one, and then you can move up the same. So, one, four, one, five. Again, the same way. So, I will play. And back. Then I move to D, playing the root 
4 root and 5 so to the 4 and I move to E flat the left is only taking the roots there's a B flat okay then I move back to the E flat then I move to E the same thing you see and then I'll have the B back to E so the left just plays within the five finger position no moving out F B flat is our four C is our five and back F sharp or we can call it G flat so to the four that is B to the five C sharp then back G D is our five and back A flat A E is our, e is our five back B flat Major. So to that, our four is E, F sharp is our five, and back. So practice that. Let's meet in day nine.